Hi, welcome to the second episode of Chatbot Creation Series. My name is Nisar Kakadam and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we are going to go ahead and create a AI fabric model for converting German text into English. In our previous video, we have seen what is the use case that we are going to create for this chatbot and the introduction part. So let's create with the development part. So first of all, we will have to navigate to UiPath platform, which is platform.uipath.com. So as soon as I navigate to platform.uipath.com, you can see there are five attended robots, five unattended, five testing on production. So basically, if I click on admin, if I click on license, I'm using enterprise trial edition. Now, how do you want to, if you want to use AI fabric, how would you enable enterprise edition is what I have already created a video on, which you will find in the comment section and you can go ahead and create your own enterprise trial edition. Now, if you want to use AI fabric, you have to enable trial enterprise trial edition. Just remember that. And now let's move forward with creation of our first model for German to English conversion. Now, what I'm going to do is, as you see, if I click on AI fabric, it says apply AI to your RPA workflow in minutes. Now let's say create project. The first project is going to be German to English. Project description is going to be conversion of German input text to English message. And that's what we want to create. So let's click on create. Now we are going to go ahead and the first thing that we want to do is select ML package. Now you can go ahead and upload your own package. Also, you can go ahead and select out of the bus packages where, where there are really wonderful and rich packages available in AI fabric. Now the package which we need is into language translation. So we'll just click on language translation. And now we're going to click on German to English. Now, once you click on this package, you can see the description. This model was open sourced by Facebook AI research. What is going to be the input for this package? So the input for this machine learning package is going to be the text, which is German text and output is going to be translated English language. Now there are two versions or only, okay. There's only one version available. Let's click on submit and let's write a package name. So we're going to name it as German to English package. The description input and output remain same. Now submit. Now we have created and added ML package, which is with status is undeployed. Now the package is not retrainable. So we don't need to train or create any pipeline for that. Now let's just jump on to ML skill and create a new ML skill where I'm going to name this ML skill as German to English, which is very easy to understand. Now the package which we have created in the ML packages is displayed here. The major package version is going to be one. The minor version is going to be zero and the skill description. Now let's click on the skill description. So description is nothing but conversion of German to English and that's it. I don't have any GPUs enabled because I'm using enterprise trial edition. You can re uh, request for a GPU if you're using enterprise edition. Now let's go ahead and click on create and that's it. So I have created one ML skill, which is German to English package version is 1.0 status is deploying deployed at 556 PM. Now I can go ahead in ML logs refresh and you can check the logs. The first log says that the package deployment validation was successful. And then the second thing is the package is under deployment process. So the deployment has started. Now, once we have started the deployment process, let's go back into AI fabric and let's have a look at the project. So you can see German to English conversion of German input text to English message. Your first project is live in AI fabric now. However, package is not yet deployed. How do you know that? So just go ahead and click on the orchestrator service for which you have deployed this package. I'm navigating to orchestrator. In my orchestrator, there will be one option available, which is going to be ML skill. So I'm just going ahead and clicking on ML skill and I will refresh. Now you say the German to English package is now being deploying. The status is deploying. So it will take a couple of seconds or it can take a couple of minutes to deploy this package. And then once it is deployed, the status will change to available and then you can go ahead and start predictions. So in today's video, we have seen how to create AI fabric model to convert German text into English. In our next video, we are going to see how we can create another AI fabric model for conversion of English text to German. See you next time.